Okay, guys, so we are now on the last phase, which is the app signing, right? So now your app signing key choice will be fixed once you publish to an open track. So now at this point, you need to sign the app before um, uploading it to the uh, Play Store. So app bundle, you said to upload the bundle, you must provide a signing key or generate one using Play App Signing. So you click here, choose signing key. So now let Google generate an app signing key recommended. Then the second one is choose your own app signing key, which you keep a local copy of the key release. Increase use the key you're already using, increase security, blah blah. And then this one more than 90% against loss of. So now I always like to go for the first option. The second option is basically getting the signing key from your Android Studio where you build the app, where you compile the app and all that, right? So but in this case, I'm not using that option. Um using the Google generated key. So we're gonna go ahead here and click use Google generated key. Now, once that is done, this particular place will become active for us to be able to upload the app. Okay, so waiting for that. Okay, you see, app signing key generated. Now we have an option. The the the, the gray spot um, option is out, so I can now upload the bundle. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag the bundle and drop here. Okay, so it's uploading. Then I've already done this release name, initial release. Then this is the first initial release of the dollar app. Okay, so let's wait for for it to finish uploading. If it uploads successfully without any issue, then I'm just going to go ahead and submit it for review. But there are certain times that after you do this, probably the certain things that you were supposed to do while compiling the app or while building the app, certain configuration certain settings certain things you're supposed to have made available in the app so if those things are there those things are not present it could throw up an error here so you don't need to bother about that all you just need to do is to check what those things are and get them fixed on the app before coming back here again to try to upload it there are some uh, that are just basically notice they are not like important that your app can still fly without those things those warnings will just show you just go ahead and still proceed to you know submit the app for review so let's just give you some time and see what the case is for us right now on this particular app Okay, so finally, one app bundle uploaded. So as you can see, um, that's uploaded successfully and it's showing all this. And so far, so good. I don't think we have any issue here. So let's go ahead and click on next. Okay, so see the things I talked about here. He said we found some problems with your release. So error warnings and message. So these are the warnings I talked about. I know really then this is an error so let's see what the error say it said your app targets android 13 api 33 or both you must declare the user advertising id in play console okay so that one is something that can be done here so let's go ahead and say complete declaration so does your app use advertising id let's say yes why does your App need to use advertising and this including SDK you are blah, blah, blah. apply app functionality analytics. So you just select all of these advertising or marketing, personalization, and just do all that then just save. So that is done. So we go back. Okay.
So I think that should be a network issue or something. So let's just go ahead and refresh. Tell us much. Okay, so now that we're done with this, okay, so we've done this already, we've saved, so let's go back. Okay, so now that error is gone. The only thing we're seeing here is a warning. Which let's check the warning. There's no deobfuscation file association with the app bundle. So yes. oh, that's not really an important thing. It's a warning, so not really. So let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now that we save, ready to send for review. So everything is done. Supported so Android devices, 19,000 plus countries and region one innovation code. Okay, so now let's go to publishing of our view and send it for publishing. So send 14 changes for review. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit this button. These changes will be sent to Google for review. Reviews are typically completed within seven days but may take longer manage publishing is off so these changes will be published automatically as soon as they are oh, send changes for review okay so putting changes are sent to review now the app has gone for review so now after this stage you don't really need to do anything just um, um wait for the review status so if you go to your app you see in review right so just allow that once the app um the review team from google has done the review you'll get a notification uh, from your mail that your app is live or maybe your app your app has an issue or something that you need to fix if that be the case don't panic just check what the issue is and get it fixed up and send it back for review again so guys that's basically how to list your app or publish your app on the google play store that'll be all for now I expect to see you in the next video. Bye for now.